Everybody, everybody knows home, everybody man. now. Yeah. See, yeah. so we were just about to go um, get yeah, in the Cairo. We're going to the Lego Center. Yeah. Have you done cryo here? No, I haven't. I haven't yeah. done cryo here. I, I, I've done cryo. It's cold, man. Yeah. I'm ready to get your shot when you get out and you're like. I don't know. <laughs> but the best thing about it, you can listen to your music. Yeah. And it's not that bad. No, for sure. You that was the best part. Just crank it out. <laughs> What's happening? How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Doing? I'm good, man. Can't right, complain. Yeah, so figure out how can I just, you know, what was the next thing I can do to like, right. you know, to stay healthy and fresh. I mean, the thing is, we do those testing and we never pay attention to the results. Right. So, you know, we have all this testing year in, year round, and we do it and we're just like, all right, well they cleared me, I'm ready to play. Right. And we never pay attention to what the test actually shows. Dang. So that's what I started doing. I started paying attention to what my body was actually, what, what was showing up. In my, on my body, in my body, on the test, right, and that's when I started to learn or start wanting to do something different. Start, to, you know, I wanted to be natural, right. So, I mean, it just—it's a mindset, man. Yeah. Um, you can't be—you can't be stuck on somebody else telling you what you need to do for you, right. See, you got to be able to do that for yourself. Yeah. So, I mean, that's—that's that's pretty much it. And that's the, the the part I'm trying to get, like the manipulation part, where I'm trying to get away from. You know, people are always telling me, you know, how to do stuff where I just need to go. Sometimes I need to go um, educate myself on, you know, what's going on. Yeah. How to just be more hands-on with it, you know? Right. Can anybody tell you how to take care of your body? Right. That's just, yeah, that's something you got to learn for yourself. Yeah. And you can be around people that's going to show you the way, yeah. you know, show you different techniques. But as far as you taking care of yourself, you got to take care of your own hands. Right. Nope. That's it. Do the research and then find the experts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do the research, find the experts, and then continue to do it and not do it one time. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, yeah. It's routine. Like, like with yoga. <laughs> yeah, consistency like, is routine. Yoga is practice. Like yeah. you gotta constantly do it in order to get better. Yeah. Same thing with take care of yourself. You gotta constantly do it in order for your, in order for your body to feel the difference. Right. You can't do a one off and think you feel good and like, all right, I don't need to do it anymore. It's a constant, consistent thing. Right. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, I mean, we, of course we're helping you get back on the field, but it's more of an education piece because now, you know, you know exactly what it's like to be in the NFL. Right. You know how taxing it is on the body, so now you get a chance to take care of yourself from here on out so you can have that long career. Yeah, and that's what I was telling them uh, earlier today, like, this message for me, like, coming back and stuff like that, I'm trying to introduce and um, to, you know, people who's, who having an injury or anything to like not let it interfere, you know, in a process, you know, mm -hmm. um, not let it distract you, you know, and just 
see how they, you can use it as motivation to you know to make you work harder or make you you know um, go about your your business and stuff like that. So yeah. just using this platform to just teach others how to you know how to just you know take care of themselves. You know you don't. I feel like you don't have to be in sports. You know it's just right. you know just in general life to just you know um, take care of your body, take care of yourself. And that's why we opened the center up. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was pretty much that main reason because during that time. You know, during the time where we went the natural route, we didn't have anyone telling us anything. Right. We had to search everything and learn on our own. Mm -hmm. So we figured why not open up a center where we can help educate and then bring other practitioners um, that can help educate as well. So we get a chance to learn from them. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, our clients get a chance to learn from all of us. So it just yeah. makes it better. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's why we got you here. Right. Because yeah, I can't, I don't know. I mean, I know a little bit about yoga, but I don't know as much as you do. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that mindset. Not yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Positive out of it, I think, as long as you don't get stuck in the, the shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. And like, mm -hmm. what you would get stuck in, like, what, like, what, you know, what, what you were saying, like, what? What would, what would say, set them back? Yeah. Like, what would be a setback for you? Uh, like, I found out I have a, a what's it called? Impingement in my hip this year, and I couldn't walk for like a couple of weeks or hardly walk. And right. You know, it's easy to feel like self pity or something like that, or you can use it positively. Right. Like, yeah. How can I learn more about my anatomy, and then how can I like, learn how to heal this, and then how can I apply that to somebody yeah. else that maybe has the same issue, or just uh, it never hurts as a yoga teacher to know as much about anatomy as possible. So, right. mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I'm fine. And how can I use the practice for myself to, mm -hmm. to heal myself? And yeah, there's there's so many positives out of it. I think. You've, you've hurt yourself before, you rotator cuff injury, yeah, mm -hmm. I had shoulder surgery. I say, were you yeah. a swimmer or did you throw? No, I I was doing too much yoga. Too much yoga, <laughs> hey, that's, that's yeah, a good thing to get on. Yeah, Overtrain yeah. the soldiers. She's yeah. a little school, I know. Yeah. Well, what do you mean, you go to like? Well, we go to like, well, when you're really flexible, like I could always touch my toes, yeah. so right. I, d I don't have breaks. Like you say that you're inflexible, but you have breaks, your body stops you. So I had to learn to check my ego and add my own breaks so that I didn't have a second surgery. <laughs> Solid. Because yeah. being overly flexible, that can be... It's harder than yoga. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how can you get overly flexible? Is well, that impossible? Or? You know, you're not supposed to really stretch your ligaments and yeah. your, if your body doesn't have breaks and your ligaments will overstretch yeah. and then yeah. you, they won't go back. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing with him, he's... Fast as hell, and he's strong too for his size. Mm -hmm. So he has that that perfect blend, but he doesn't have that flexibility. Mm -hmm. So you gotta think when you're fast and you're explosive, and you're trying to, and you know you can go straight ahead, but then when you start like you know doing different things, you can tweak something. Yeah, just totally. Like, just right. like a really really quick movement, you can tweak it really really quick. So mm -hmm. I think the good thing for him is not only this recovery phase, but also being able to stretch a lot more. Yeah. Because I'm sure you probably didn't even, like nobody really told you that you should stretch. I yeah, I, as I never stretch. Ever. I mean like <laughs> But yeah, so that's so I just you know what I mean is and I mean once I just get in the environment, I'm ready to go. I don't matter it don't matter what it is, like if they tell me like, you know, it's time to go, I'm excited. You know, like I don't have to stretch. <laughs> the adrenaline. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, he's like a kid. I yeah. mean yeah. You, gotta, you, you think like when you're a kid, you don't have to stretch, you don't have to move no. on, you're just ready to go right then and there, you're not going to tweak anything. When you your know? are also elastic when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you think of every like wild animal that sprints, like any big cat, they're also extremely flexible and they take yeah. the time to stretch, they don't even think about it. Right. Dang. I never thought about it. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Like, you look at a panther or something like that. Get, get their legs behind their head. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, <that's all> right. <laughs> Your house cat even, they're super fast, but yeah, they stretch all the time. Right. They yeah, hang around here. Rest and eat. <laughs> Just come hang around. You'll we'll learn a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, this is why we have people in the house that, you know, may know a little bit more than we know, because now she, she's able to talk to you from a different perspective. Right. Like, you can hear my voice, but you get to get a chance to hear her voice, and then now, you know, she says some things that you, that you can kind of like, oh, okay, so I remember going through this, but I didn't know how, you know, I can go through it. I didn't yeah. have anybody telling me how I can get through this, and I didn't know myself. So mm -hmm. now you get a chance to learn from different practitioners on different things that you can apply to your everyday life from here on out. Right. 
Yeah, that's that's amazing. Education is is the key, my man. Yeah, for real, yeah. for real, man. That's that's like this whole time, like since I've been out, so uh, from October, so I refractured my leg in October, and so from October to August, I've just been, you know, like you were saying, just taking some time out to, um, you know, just to build my mental focus, you know. Um, just build myself up to to where like I'm not letting this this um, injury, you know, um, like bring me down or right, something. Yeah. You know, I'm just I'm using it as like a motivation step to you know um, to see the big picture right. and like this is just the next step for you know another big moment. You know that's oh, yeah. that's gonna happen. You grow up, man. Yep. You grow up. You really are. I mean, you know how. Like when you come, you walk into the locker room, you know the true veterans from like the younger guys and like all of that rookies right. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So now you're taking that next step from a rookie phase to the true vet. Right. Mm -hmm. Like now you get a chance to learn from your mistakes from back then. Right. And now you get a chance to apply it so that you can better yourself and grow. Right. right? So it's gonna be all a part of your story though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you get a chance to pass this along, and everybody's like, oh wow, like. Just to see that transformation, like this dude, been in, he's been out there, have cameras on him ever since he was a youngin. Mm -hmm. So now you get a chance to follow his entire story from when he became whatever, whatever your story is going to end up being. Right. You don't know. Like yeah. you get, I mean, you got, you got what it takes to to make your name for you or do whatever you want to do. Right. You got it. Now it's just a time to apply it. Yeah. And, and my you, thing let is that story like, be, right, like. My thing is like I um I feel like I'm an entrepreneur footballer. You know, yeah. like you know, football is just one thing but it's I'm a an entrepreneur. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur like in my mindset how I think, you know, so I'm always just trying to like create and build, you know, different stuff daily, no matter you know, where it is networking with different people or, you know, um just getting some new education on, you know, like yoga and stuff store. You know, whenever somebody bring it up to me, I can introduce them to it, you know, and like show them, maybe you can go to this place and, you know, see yeah. you know, how you feel or, you know, just just keeping that, like, positivity going early. Yeah, one thing, one thing that you can remember, as long as you're in the NFL, you're always your own business entity. Right. You are your own business. So yeah. having that entrepreneur mindset, you, you are, it's already there. Right. But you got to think of yourself as a, a I'm a big, I'm my own business, so I gotta make sure I'm taking care of myself. Yeah. Your body, that's the engine to your business. Yeah. If your engine breaks down, you ain't got nothing. Right. I mean, you might be able to branch off and do something else. Yeah. But as far as what you're trying to do at this current moment, which is play football, right? You, play, you ain't gonna have it. Mm -hmm. So if you think of yourself as your own business entity, you'll be cool. Yeah. And that means you gotta take care of yourself every step of the way from here on out. Yeah. For sure. See, now you got the ears to hear it. When you first coming into the league, you're like, oh, I mean, I'm here. They drafted me. They brought me in for a reason. I know I got it. I ain't got to do too much else. Now you get a chance to break your game down, break yourself down, and build yourself back up. Right. The right way. Yeah. So I like that. It's all learning. So yeah. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, right. It's all learning. <laughs> like everything along the way today has been so yeah. sick. Like, it's dude. Like, yeah. I've had like positive affirmations of everything that I've recently just like switched and I was like I mean I just it's just everything that I've learned I've had I've been just around like, just a ton of different guys and I learned something from every single person I've been around so I just you know, I speak what I learned speak right. what I know mm -hmm. speak what I learned so that's part of passing it down yeah that's abundance okay all the yeah. guys passed it down yeah. to me so now I'm passing it down to the younger guys right that's amazing you yeah. That's abundance? You yeah. yeah, it's abundance. Give, you attract this energy, but then you, you show your grace by sharing it with others around you like minded. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's a part of the brotherhood that, uh, you know, being a part of being in the NFL is a brotherhood. Like, you know, I had all veterans pass down information to me, so I figured, you know, if I'm around younger guys, pass that same information down. Whatever right. I know, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. All right, let's great. do this. Y'all ready? Ready for that ice box? Like that? Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> this is all amazing. Can we get I got you. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs>
since it's open, um, a lot of the air escapes. Yeah. And also with the nitrogen chambers, it gets cooler at the bottom and as it rises. It I mean, it gets real cold at the bottom and as it rises, it gets warmer and warmer. With this, there's no escaping. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all I heard this. This thing and it's is evenly cold. distributed throughout the body. So, just, uh, yeah. but so I open up, you just get right on in. Right. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> This is dope. <laughs> Do this. Yeah. Now you get to hop on the fun thing. How'd that workout uh, go earlier? It was smooth. Yeah, it good. Just to get back running and stuff again. Yeah. Yeah. How tired did you get though? Ah oh, man, or I was. Or he, or he ain't rough you up too bad. Ah uh, nah, he. I feel like he did a. It was a good little workout though, for real. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. And, and if you uh, if you talk to him, and let me know how that conversation goes. For sure, I got you. Yeah. Yep. Fellas, it was good to see y'all too. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. We'll probably be seeing you more, so. Mm -hmm. right, cool. <laughs> yep. Y'all take it easy. All right. Listen, you can't hold me down. You can't